Hello YouTube, Joe here from Shutter Speak Photography. So, the Luminar 4.3 update drops today and I wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up as to what to expect in that update, what some of the new features are and some of the things that have been improved. So, let's get started with that. But before we do, just like to ask a small favor of you, if anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting the like button. Uh, please, by all means, leave me a comment. I do try and answer all the comments. And most of all, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates. So I thank you in advance for that. That really does help me out more than anything else. So again, if anything helps you, please help me. So um, that Luminar 4.3 update drops today. When you launch Luminar, it should automatically prompt you to update. However, if it does not, by all means, go to the help menu and check for updates or in the Mac version, the Luminar 4 menu and then check for updates. And it should pop up that update and I'll prompt you to download it and update. When you do, be sure to update your Photoshop plugin as well. It will prompt you to do that during the uh, installation process. So what's new so according to the press release for luminar and we'll run through them quickly in the software as well we should expect a search photo feature uh, improvement to the uh, looks panel 500 pixels integration uh, new crop tool some performance enhancements and a new space shuttle object as well as several improvements to the AI augmented sky tool. So photo search, uh, it's gonna be a feature to allow you to find photos by name, folder, date, and extension. So that's certainly welcome if you're managing large groups of photos in Luminar. 500 pixel integration, you can share directly to 500 pixels from Luminar. Stability and performance improvements, including uh, faster opening of raw files, uses less computer memory. They tell us uh, faster looks experience and we will also look at that in the software as well shortly. You will now be able to preview a look just by mousing over it. Um, they say it's instant. In my experience, it takes a few seconds, but it does work and it is a much uh, welcome improvement rather than having to apply a look and then say, nah, I don't like that. Let me back out of that and apply a different look this uh, this is much nicer just be able to mouse over it even though it takes a couple of seconds and uh, improvements to the crop and rotate tool which is also very welcome it's been moved from the top when you hit the the crop tool in 4.2 in previous versions the tool was in the top bar it's been moved to the right bar along with all the other tools this just really makes sense to me and it was one of my criticisms uh, in my review of luminar that it you were pressing tools on the right and sometimes the the options would appear on the right sometimes they would appear on the top and it didn't make a lot of sense to me uh, they've now been this tool at least has been moved to the right that makes sense to me and i'm glad to see that some improvements to uh, ai augmented sky they've added a space shuttle if you were looking for tons of new skies and objects that's not uh, in this release but you are getting a new object the space shuttle uh, there's going to be a new marketplace section, however, for you to purchase uh, easily new sky packs and object packs. Um, in terms of custom sky and sky objects, there is now the ability to add custom folders so that instead of all your skies, your custom skies being lumped into one big directory, now you're going to be able to have custom folders for your objects and skies, which is welcome. And with the addition of these custom um, folders, you're going to be able to drag and drop and import in bulk um, large amounts of skies and objects, which is also incredibly welcome because you either had to kind of end around it and drop it into the folder structure or import them one at a time. So this is a nice, uh, nice feature and a nice improvement as well. Um, camera support, a whole bunch of new cameras have been added, including the Canon EOS uh, 1D, uh, X Mark III, Fujifilm uh, X100V, uh, and Leica SL2, Nikon Coolpix P950, Nikon 780, Nikon Z50, uh, 
150, the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III, Panasonic DH, I'm sorry, DC dash SH1, and the Sony A9 Mark II, and a few others as well that I'm not going to mention, but you can look those up um, if uh, you were interested. A new masking brush workflow marks areas uh, in transparent red mid process that should make things a little bit easier as well um, and of course a new user manual so a bunch of things for us to look at um, also if you don't have luminar and you're interested in buying it i'm going to give you a coupon code for ten dollars off and uh, a little bit of a discount on top of that coupon code in case you need that coupon code it's shutter speak and it's going to be in the description of this video as well so hey Let's get started and let's check out some of these new features. Okay, so Luminar 4 version 4.3 is loading up for us. And when we first go into the uh, interface now, we're going to see we have a film strip off to the side here. And we can go into our library over here. And one of the things I'm going to mention to you is there is a new search tool. That is one of the new tools that is available. But it took me a little bit of uh, poking around to find it. One would think that it would appear in the library, but to actually see the search tool, you actually need to be in this multi-image view, and then you'll see the search button comes up at the top here. Okay, so hitting this search button at the top allows you to search by date, folder name, file name, uh, file extension, etc. So there it is. A little bit of a quirk to that. Just remember you have to be in this multi-image view. Otherwise, for some reason, in this single image view, that search bar goes away. But so that's there, it's handy. If you're using Luminar to handle large amounts of images, um, you're certainly gonna welcome that search tool. Okay, so we have a bunch of improvements in this version. Um, first, uh, first one I'm gonna go over is the crop and rotate. So uh, if we go here to the crop and rotate tool, or if we click on the canvas tool, we have crop and rotate here either way. But now selecting crop and rotate, you'll see the tools now actually appear here on the right, more consistent with the rest of the tools rather than up here in this bar. Um, this just makes more sense to me. Um, unfortunately, this seems to be the only tool that they consolidated those options down to. Um, if you went to clone stamp uh, and some of the other tools, some of the options still appear up at the top. It doesn't make a tremendous amount of sense to me, but this one change is welcome to keep consistency. I hope that the rest of the tools, the options that are appearing in that top bar do get moved down to the right side. It just makes workflow uh, make more sense. Um, I, you know, here's the bottom line. Once you're used to the tools being up at the top bar, it's not an issue. But again, consistency and workflow, this is a welcome change to me. So right here, we can choose our cropping options and that's a nice, feature to have. Okay, um, we can rotate our crop factor. And again, we can flip our image horizontally, vertically, um, and rotate here as well. So that's a really nice change to the workflow. Um, I like that they did a nice job with this tool. Okay, um, next thing we want to take a look at is some of the uh, improvements with the uh, AI augmented sky. So if we go into our creative tab and we go to sky replacement, uh, we choose sky selection. We're now going to see an option to download new sky images. Now, if we select that option, we're going to come to this Luminar marketplace where we can purchase new Luminar sky packs as well as look packs and object packs and some LUTs as well. Um, a few other things, signature looks, um, some textures. Oh, these are actually free, so there you go. So some free textures for you there, so that's nice. All right, so on top of that, if we go into sky selection, if you have a custom sky pack loaded, which I do, you're gonna see now that they're gated off with their own little sections, which is nice. And if we say show custom skies, it's gonna open up our Explorer and you'll see all your skies go into this custom folder and then inside of these folders. So here are these dramatic skies inside this uh, dramatic sky folder. 
you don't see the folder name, but you do see, like I said, they are gated off so that they are actually separate from the rest of the default skies. Now, one thing that I do want to note, which was important, was in Luminar 4.2, I did have a lot of custom skies loaded and the 4.3 update wiped them all out and I was left with only the defaults. So if you have custom sky packs or custom skies loaded and you don't have a copy of those someplace, please make a copy of these before you install 4.3 or you're going to lose them. Now, the looks packs, however, looks packs were unaffected. I do have some custom look packs loaded. Those were unaffected by the update. They, they all stood in place. Okay, so just something to be aware of there. Um, in AI Augmented Sky, there is one new object. I mean, we still, of course, have the rather confusing giraffe, uh, but we also now have uh, the space shuttle as well. And, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, the, uh, the AI Augmented Sky objects, you know, still work fantastic. So uh, a lot of fun there with those, of course. Um, so many other things that are changed are for example masking so if we want to edit the mask and we go into the brush now masking is automatically giving us the pink uh, visual so we know exactly where we're masking we don't have to go in and turn that on so that's a really welcome change there so we know exactly where we've masked and exactly what we're affecting so nice change there I like that. Um, again, some new camera support as well for raw files. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Um, photo search, we have that 500 pixel integration as well. And one of the other things also was the ability to use uh, looks. So we have look packs installed. We can just simply now mouse over them. And actually, uh, you can see now it, I have had the software running for a few minutes and it's actually working very quickly. It takes only a second or two for uh, the changes. Uh, earlier, when I had this loaded, it was taking maybe two, three, four seconds to uh, actually see a look happen. Now it's happening much quicker, uh, much closer to real time. So that's a really welcome change. But again, keep in mind, 12 core system with 32 gig of RAM. So, uh, you know, I, I do have a lot of horsepower behind this PC. Uh, so your experience with this could vary a little bit. There's a pack that I have not actually previously loaded in. And again, yeah, a little bit, only, only half a second or so, maybe a full second delay, not bad. But this is really welcome also. Uh, a nice improvement here just to be able to just, all right, let me see what this is going to look like without me actually having to load this, uh, click on it, load it in, decide I don't like it, and then have to load something else. So real nice change here to be able to just mouse over these uh, different looks and see what they look like. And again, if I wanted to put one in, all I have to do is click on it and it's applied. And I can close my looks panel and move on. So that's uh, also a real nice uh, improvement as well. So. Not a tremendous amount of new features here, really, really just a couple of little things uh, that addition to them, you know, that gateway to the marketplace, um, a lot of under the hood speed improvements, um, you know, you know, a couple of new uh, little, uh, you know, the, a new object that the, the uh, space shuttle, um, the photo search tool, that's a, that's a nice new feature. But most of these improvements you're seeing are speed uh, improvements. A little bit of a you know improvement to the crop tool some ui improvement there with having that moved over and again that's just something that that i appreciate because everything right here again if we went to the clone and stamp tool you're going to see how that's still something that you know it takes a little bit of time for this tool to load and once it does you're going to see the options up at the top and this right bar going away doesn't make a lot of sense to me um, you know and that's the way the crop tool used to work it just makes more sense that all the tools are here on this right bar. It's a workflow thing. It makes more sense. Uh, it's it, to me. It's just it's just an a, a, a overall experience improvement. And I hope the rest of the tools that don't have that same 
uh, UI experience, get them in upcoming versions. But again, speed, reliability, uh, improvements, search tool, a few other things. But overall, a great update. Um, and feel free to just go on in and grab this and download it. And again, make sure though, uh, when you do, make sure you update your Photoshop plugin as well. It's gonna prompt you for that during the install. But uh, overall, that's about it. Um, hope this helps you out, so. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please uh, do me a favor and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates. Uh, by all means, leave me a comment. Let me know what some of your favorite new improvements are to uh, this new update with Luminar, uh, whether it be the search tool or the way masking works or just the, re the relocation of the crop tool, which to me, a silly little simple thing like that to me is, is a very welcome change. Uh, but let me know uh, what you think. And uh, I do try and answer all of uh, the comments that I get. And again, if this video helped you, please help me by hitting subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks again for watching. I'm happy to see you here again on YouTube. And I will see you next time, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.